previously on Total Eclipse. I think the new history teacher is threatening me. Try harder next time, Cassie. We need to take down Miss Dawson. I did something really bad last year. You can tell me anything. I thought you were done with that crew. They're still my friends, Eli. If I didn't think twice, it would seem like you were avoiding me. Luca has turned out to be a very nice guy. See you guys tomorrow. Maybe this is magic. If you ever need anyone to talk to, I think you still have my number. And my favorites. I didn't realize that you and Diana had become so close. You stole my song! Do you have a problem with that, Jasmine? Jasmine's my sister. Is that Morgan's half-sister, Jasmine? I'm giving you all a week's suspension. I got you tickets to see the sharp edges in Orlando. What? I want you to be happy, Greg. She goes by Miss Dawson. You're dealing with Mimi? Oh boy, you guys are not gonna like what I have to say. Good morning, Millwoodians. This is your history teacher, Miss Dawson, reminding you that finals are today. Mr. Lane is out on vacation, so I'll be your proctor. I have nothing to say to you. I know. You're right. About everything. I'm a nobody at this school. And then I met Kate. And you, and I started to feel like somebody. And you two stopped talking to me. I needed something of my own. But the song wasn't yours to take. It was ours. Both of ours. It didn't seem like you were interested in working on things together anymore. I was mad that you were flirting with my sister, but that doesn't mean you have to go behind my back. That's not how friendships work. So you and I are friends? We were friends. But, you know, I realize that you're the same selfish and immature kid that you've always been. No, I swear that isn't true. And I'm gonna prove it to you. Just forget about it, whatever. Hey, Cassie. Your mom let me in. Aren't you supposed to be in school? Turns out when a family member dies, you can get a lot of time off. How are you? Being suspended is really weird. It's like having a sick day and <laughs> you're feeling totally fine. How are you feeling? I... I'm sad all the time. And even when I'm happy, there's always a part of me that's just broken. I guess it puts things into perspective, like keeping things from your friends. About that. I shouldn't have done that. Look, I just want an explanation. I know that you didn't shoplift last year. So what's the story? Before we get into that, I have something I really need to tell you that you and Sam kissed. He told me, and I was hoping you would too. I hate having secrets between us, Cassie. Well, I was going to tell you, I promise. But I figured you'd get mad at me, and then I'd clam up and you actually do get mad at me. So are you guys gonna get back together? I, I really don't know. I think we are all going through a lot right now, so. I think it was just a thing. What do you mean? A thing. Seriously. Tell me. Fine. Jenna was acting really weird last year. 
so I followed her to Vanilla and Sage. I caught her stealing. Jenna was the shoplifter? How could she do that? Well, it was complicated. I found out things were really bad with her family. Her dad lost his job, and they were struggling with money. Wow. I had no idea. <laughs> Me neither. And I promised I would go with her to turn herself into Gretchen so you would get your job back. But <laughs> she never showed. But you didn't have to lie for her. I know, but I knew you didn't steal. And I couldn't let you take the fall. And Jenna was, she is our friend. And I'm really scared about what's happening with her and Miss Dawson. So are we. We're safe now, Finch. Every last villain has been apprehended. Now, they are under our control. Finally, we'll bring peace and prosperity to the metropolis. But these are my friends, my allies. I have fought with them for many years. Why would they do this to me? Don't blame yourself, Finch. Even the best heroes can be corrupted by jealousy and resentment. You were too powerful for them, so they turned on you. So what do we do now? The only thing you can do drain them of their powers. that we've been bested by a woman named Mimi. That's like being outmaneuvered by a corgi. And I care about Jenna, even if I'm not good at showing it. We need to fix this. In case you all forgot, we're suspended. Not all of us. What do you have in mind? I have a plan. Final started five minutes ago. I know. I'm sorry, I had to tidy up my aunt's bedroom. You know, she died. Well, of course you did. Happy to extend you some extra time on the test. There you are. Thank you. This is Jasmine, Morgan's sister, Millwood class of 2012. I want to apologize to Nicole Miranda Snell for calling her Nimi. It was mean-spirited, and I am truly sorry. What is the meaning of this? Hi, my name is Mike Robbins, and I teased Nicole Miranda during our sophomore year. I'm really sorry for saying mean things, Nimi. I mean, Nicole Miranda. Give me the next one, Cassie. Hey, Nicole Miranda, it's Susanna, your next door neighbor. I didn't bully you personally, but I never stopped the other kids on the school bus. I'm really sorry. Thank you, Susanna. Next one, Diana, hurry. Hi, Nicole Miranda, it's your sister, Emily. I know we haven't talked in a bunch of years, but I wanted to say I'm sorry. 
I miss you, and I wish high school hadn't been so awful for you. You stop that right now! You have no right to stick your nose in my past! You see, Jenna? It's just like I told you. They're bullies. Every last one of them. Aren't you supposed to be suspended? Jenna, Miss Dawson is using you. You're just jealous because Miss Dawson doesn't like you. You can't deal with the fact that a teacher likes me more. Miss Dawson isn't even her real name. She used to be a student here, and those were all of her classmates on the phone. She's trying to get revenge on them by taking us all down. She's crazy. That's enough. You were suspended, and after this, you'll be expelled. Do it now, Finch. If we don't neutralize these villains, they'll rise up against us. The teacher has guided me. She's helped me. That's more than I can say for any of you. Why do you think I lied for you? Why do you think we're trying to help you right now? Because you don't know when to quit? No. Because friends stick together, even when things aren't going very well. I can't do this, teacher. These are my friends, my heroes. I knew you were a hero. Then pay the price, Finch. Stop right there. Greg! What are you doing here? Mm. I made it all the way to Orlando, swam with one manatee, and had an orange throw nut in my head. Then flew right back here. What kind of a girlfriend sends her boyfriend on a one-way trip to Florida? She's trying to expel us. She's totally bonkers. Quiet, girls. He doesn't believe you. Oh, yes, he does. I've gotten a lot of angry calls from parents, and unfortunately, I've called the police. They're waiting outside to question you right now. Let's go. You're making the biggest mistake of your life, Greg. And you, Jenna, you'll turn out to be a loser. Just like the rest of you. All right, Snell. Can't believe I introduced you to my cats. Guys, I'm so sorry. I don't even know what to say. Maybe there's nothing to say. Maybe we could just. I'm not much of a hugger. <laughs> Sam, can I talk to you for a second? What do you want? Look, I'm really sorry about releasing your demo, but I've been working on it a lot these last few days, and I think it's really good. Luca, it, do you realize that it was really messed up, what you did? Yes, I do, but can you do me a favor and give it a listen? Now that the evil teacher had been put behind bars, the metropolis was safe and sound. The heroes of Millwood no longer needed to patrol the streets. So for the first time in a long time, they hung up their capes. The ice queen had enough of being frosty. So she put away her crown and tried on a different costume from long ago. Spellbinder found the Dark Warlock in a dispute with a citizen of Millwood. But with the help of a powerful spell, they were able to overcome their differences and restore peace and harmony. Even though she had regained her powers, Persuader found another way to use her voice. Eli, look, I really like you. 
But I need you to understand that I don't just exist for you. I don't think that you just exist. Listen, just because I want to hang out with my old friends doesn't mean I can't change. Well, some of your old friends were kind of mean to me. And some of your friends aren't great to me. You're right. I know I am. Look, I still want to be friends with you next year. Just for right now, though, I need to repair some of my friendships. Baby Luna grew tired of outer space. Fighting aliens can get pretty boring after a while. Oh, hey, Cassie. Hey, Spencer. Mr. Lane gave me these books. They're interesting, but I don't think I'm destined to be an astronaut. I have another job in mind. Really? I think I want to be a teacher. Okay. <laughs> As for me, I learned that some problems can't be solved by heroes. Sometimes all you need is a great group of friends. We've been talking for almost a year now. All my feelings are starting to come down. What's this? I'm sorry about you and Mrs. Dawson, but that's my half sister Jasmine's email address. I think you guys might get along. Really? She likes cats. Wow. Thank you, Morgan. Oh, uh, Morgan, I heard you quit the experimental film club. Now, just between us, I don't blame you. <laughs> but next year, we're going to have to start thinking seriously about your future. Don't worry, Mr. Lynn. I got a plan. When I was a little kid, pretend that I was all grown up. Morgan, is that you? My God, you look fantastic. Morgan, how the heck have you been for the last 20 years? It's so nice seeing you guys. You too. But what nobody knows is when things get tough, I still do. And I'm